Well, folks, it is 2.45 a.m. I am driving four hours to somewhere in Kansas to go fishing, like open water fishing. Like, it's 12 degrees outside. Going fishing, going fishing, and uh, I think I'm only going to be here for, like, the day, and then I'm going to drive back tonight. I uh, got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm going to hit the road. Hopefully going to be there around like 6 to 6.30 or so. Going out with a, uh, a subscriber. He is going to take me out on the lake and hopefully catch some fish. Well, I made it to Kansas. I'm super sick, so if you guys hear me coughing, and it sounds like I'm coughing up a lung, that's why. I'm gonna go to a gas station though. I gotta grab some uh, some drinks. It's it's really cold, like like in the teens. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna grab some food or drinks or something. And I'm with uh, Brian, and we are going bass fishing today. So this should be interesting. For all you haters out there that gave me uh, crap for this hat, now look who's warm. I'm warm as can be, because it's, it's like 15 degrees right now. Well, I gotta get rigged up. He, uh, I brought some sticks, some rods and reels. He, got some, he's brought, he brought the lures, and uh, I wanna fly the drone over there. But it's a power plant, and uh, he said that there are snipers up in the towers. So myself, I don't wanna get shot. And I also don't want the drone to get shot down. So you guys aren't going to see any drone shots. So those are the four lures. Chatterbait, swing head, little swim bait, and a tube. Those are, those are the four baits. We're going to catch some fish. I can't feel my face. Nope. <laughs> face is numb. What should I start with? A tube? Uh, I would go with the chatterbait. See if Ch the chatterbait? Okay, let's try the chatterbait. Put the old gloves on. We're gonna start with the chatterbait, see if they'll eat something moving. Oh yeah, we got we got some nice ice in the guides. That's when you know you're fishing the good stuff. Got him? Oh, first fish. <laughs> that didn't take very long. There you go. First fish that only took about five minutes. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. The old tube, huh? Good tube, man. Good fish, dude. That's crazy. There's like legit ice all over the guides on my rod and catching largemouth. This is crazy. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's a fish. It uh, feels pretty decent. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Oh, dude, he smacked it. My rod just boom. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Hey, chatterbait. So that's my first fish. Fishing in about 16 degree weather. See you, Antoine. Yep, yeah, there's another one. Yep, I felt him too. Oh, that's a little bit better one. That, that dude just whopped it. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> that was very next cast. I think you wanted that. Yeah. Look at that. All the way down there, dude. There we go. Second. Second largemouth. Not a, not a bad one. See you, buddy. Oh, wow. Dude, they're, hit, they're hitting on the fall. He's there. He's there. He came back, dude. He came back. That's three for three. Oh, I think we found I think we found the juice. It's so weird to feel how warm these fish are when my hands are like numb. Oh my gosh. This is this is just incredible. I can't believe this. It's like I'm dipping my rod in the water to get the ice off so I can actually make a cast. Then once I do, I'm just letting it fall. Oh, I'm telling you, he's, he's there. Oh, oh, he came off. So, something slipped. What the heck was that? He's there, he's there, he's there, dude, that's four for four. Oh my gosh, this is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my goodness, I, I don't even know. I don't know what to say, I'm just gonna, I'm not really giving you guys many tips, cause you know, I'm kinda, 
busy trying to just catch as many fish as possible but i mean we just basically just found this little hole and the fish the fish are stacked that's five for five wow it's like the same they're all they're all i swear to god i'm like catching the same fish here they're all i think we just got a school fired up yeah we we definitely fired the school up because they're in there big time yeah they're they're just hitting on the drop I mean, you're just kind of like feathering it and all of a sudden they're running there he is oh he come he come off there he is they came back he came back six for six I don't know if I've ever done this in my entire life. Oh, that's, a that's, a, that's way better. <laughs> that's a good one. Bring him over that line here. Swing his ass in. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, there's nice, a good dude. one. Yeah. He's much better. <laughs> six for six. Dude, yeah, that's, that's the biggest one so far for yeah. sure. You catch a smallie? You did. Look at that, dude. That's a good one, too. Right there, 19 degrees. 19 degrees, smallmouth and a largemouth doubles this is uh this is something else this is why i got up at 2 a.m this is this is exactly why welcome to kansas kansas all right i know i keep saying i'm moving to texas but i may need to may need, may need to rethink that see you kathy oh so the chatterbait bite kind of slowed down a little bit one thing you can do is just switch up baits just a little bit so i am switching to this little uh little swim bait majigger and see if that works just sometimes they get kind of you know trained to seeing the same thing this is a similar profile, just a little bit different. So we're gonna give this this little dude a shot and see if it works. Ooh, is that a fish? Yep, that's a fish. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, right in the net. It's like he's done that before. He did look like a smallmouth when he jumped. Yeah, he totally did. Oh wow. He ate that thing. Okay. Yeah, I think they might want that swim bait. So we switched it up, went to the swim bait, and uh, caught that little dude. He's actually probably one of the better ones for the day. And the school kind of chilled out a little bit, because I did go like seven for seven earlier, and then now it's like one for probably five. But like I said, you just gotta, just gotta give them what they want, you know, switch up the baits a little bit, give them a different presentation, and sometimes it pays off. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're dealing with right there, a little, little snow action. Yep. It's still cold, it's still 19 degrees. I we're probably up to close to 20. Oh, you yeah. think? Easily. 20, 20 fish. So, not a bad day. No, no giants. I did have one that was probably pushing three. He decided to uh, to be like nah and threw my threw my shatter bait. But we're still uh, we're still catching some fish. I'm probably gonna pick that swim bait back up and uh, see if we can catch a few more. Oh, that was a fish. There's like one other guy. That there he is. Oh, yeah, dude. That might be a big one. <laughs> oh, dude, it's a big one. Oh, my God, it's huge. Oh, my gosh, it's huge. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, my God. It's a big one. It's a giant. Yes. Oh, my oh, God, dude, that's yes. Huge that's small mouth. Huge small mouth. Huge. Oh, I knew that when I set my set the hook, my rod was bent in half, and I was like, dude, this is a, this is a big, sexy, heavy. Oh, my God. He choked the living snot out of this. Look, she got a tube down her mouth, in her throat. No way. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's what was inside, a little tube. All right, we're getting the release on this little gal right here. We're gonna call her Samantha. Here she goes. Heck yeah, that's exactly what we want. Wobblehead for the win. Just to give you guys a rundown of what we're using, that is uh, the bait for at least, at least the big one is this dude right here. Just your little watermelon red creature bait and then a little green pumpkin wobble head. That's, uh, that was the killer for the, the biggins today. Oh, there you go, that looks like a good one. That is a big one, dude. I think it's a big smallie. No, it's a large one? Oh, I got one. Oh, we, totally oh, we, we right got now. doubles. <laughs> oh, mine's a good one, too. We both got some decent fish. Come here, buddy. I'm looking at you, and my, also my <laughs> line's like super tight. There we go. Right <laughs> the tongue. Doubles, Those baby. Too. Doubles. Wobblehead madness. First, is like the chatterbait, and then all of a sudden they kind of got used to that. Now it's like dig out the wobbleheads and go to, go to work. Doubles, man. Sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. You got him? Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Is it a big one? Oh, yeah, that is a big one. That is a good one. Oh, yeah, dude, that's, that's a big one. beast. I got one. Dude, I swear, every time you catch oh them, God, every time you catch one, <laughs> I'm over here looking at yours, and my rod just Here's gets about pulled too. out of my hand. Yeah. Every time, I swear. God, it's, oh my God, that is a, dude, that's a giant. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, dude, heck yes. Oh, that's that's probably the biggest. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're both, They're both pigs, that. dude. There we go, two doubles. Those are some some chunky freaking largemouth right there. That's just, it's like the third or fourth double we've had. That's crazy. Let me see, buddy. Oh! <laughs> That's got to be a fish. Calling the shot on this guy. Couple seconds. Feel the tick. See you there. Yep, he's there. Wow, you know you're on the juice when you can just count down the freaking fish catch. Are you bored yet? No, do you not at all? I I, I don't really think going back to Nebraska anytime soon. <laughs> You might just chill here for, for a couple months. It's kind of fun. Well, it's fun uh, when you can just kind of cast out there, take count down, and uh, and whack them one, one after another after another. This is uh, this is fun. See you, Bubba. You know, I'm getting tired of catching all these fish, so <laughs> I'm just gonna throw a curveball in here, grab a tube, and see if I can make some magic happen. I don't know. I'm just. I want to fight it one on a spinning rod just to ch just to change it up a little bit. Yeah, you know it now. Oh goodness, I might have a big one. Oh my goodness, I think I do. There's literally an icicle at the end of my rod right now. <laughs> oh, look at this fish. This is nuts. Oh yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? You're not even that big, dude. Wow. I'm weak sauce, dude. This little dude just whooped my butt for about the last 45 seconds. Runner, I now I wish I would have caught the big one on the spinning rod because apparently they feel like 10 pounders. That's another brown one though. I kind of like these brown ones. I don't get to catch these guys very often. See you, buddy. Yep, I knew that was gonna be a fish. Come on, buddy. He is, he's just chilling. He ain't even jumping. <laughs> There's a reason why. Wow, do you know why he's not jumping? Flair, you are really good at fishing. Sick! There's one. Yeah, there's a fish. Finally, chatterbait fish. Come here, buddy. Well, finally, we got chatterbait fish. We were kind of fishing this little flat, just three feet, three, four feet of water. Fishing some moving base for about 10, 15 minutes. Caught a nice little large mouth there. Yeah, you guys can see that. The, uh, all the ice, ice on my line right there. Making it a little bit challenging, but still, still finding some fish here. Sometimes I was literally just about to say, sometimes it's just better when the wind comes from. Oh yeah, there's one. Uh oh, I think we might have. Oh, he popped off. Yeah, you can see the swirl. He was there. I felt like it. He came back. He came back. I dr oh, dude, that's a big in. Oh my god, it's a big and He came back. Oh, good heavens. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh, that's what we're looking for. That was funny. I it it let go of it and I just let it flutter down to the bottom. Yeah, we ate that and he came back for it. That's that's what we that's what we're looking for now. Heck yeah, baby. See you later, Brutus. There he came back third time. We got doubles. Oh Jesus! Oh, I got a I got a big in. Oh shoot. <laughs> Dude, oh my that's gosh. Another toad. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. There you go. That's uh that's basically the same size I just freaking had. Wow. Look at look at that fish. Another chatterbait brute finding finding some bigger bigger fish, a little higher quality. See, you, buddy. Boom. Smoked them.
Yeah. It's got to be a big one on it. Looks good. There's one. Oh, yeah. That's a oh, big one. That might, if that's a bass, that's a, I hope it's a bass. Dude, if it's a bass, it's a giant. It may be a drum, but. A drum will eat a chatterbait. If it's a bass, it's, it's a. Is what? Seriously what I think it is? What is it? It's a channel cat. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. We're like, yeah, wind blown point, dude. Textbook. <laughs> <laughs> this is key, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know if you want to touch it. No, you, you got it. <laughs> I was like, dude, that's a freaking donkey. Dude, big head wobblers. Key for channel cat. We're on that uh, catfish pattern now, guys. Yeah, so you guys think I'm a bass fisherman. I'm low key, just a catfishing freaking guru. That's a fish. God, that thing jumped five feet in the air. It's a smallmouth, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, son. So we get one cast, you catch a catfish. Next one, you catch smallmouth. Look at that little brown butte. You don't get these much in Nebraska. See you, buddy. Well, it is still cold, but we caught lots of fish. How many fish do you think we caught? Oh, we probably fished 55, 60. Yeah, 50, 50 60 fish. And uh, yeah, so we had a good time, caught some big fish. We are gonna go get food, and then we're gonna go to a different lake and uh, hopefully catch some, uh, either maybe some stripers or some more bass, but that's gonna be part two. I'm gonna end it here just because we had such a good morning. I'm gonna leave this at one video and then uh, pick it up at the next one. What is your, uh, what's your, you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Kansas Angling Experience. Kansas Angling Experience. Do you have a guide website? KansasAnglingExperience.com Okay, okay. KansasAnglingExperience.com So he's a guide, and uh, I'll leave all the information down below. You go check him out if you want to come to this lake or any lake around central Kansas or so, and uh, have a great time like me. Go check it out. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, bass beatdown, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Another quick example of how cold it is. Look at that. The hooks are frozen like in place <laughs> this is this is ridiculous dude